it seems that, by and large, people don't like being alone with their thoughts. A new study by Timothy Wilson and colleagues shows that most people find it hard to sit alone in a room with nothing to do but think for just 6 to 15 minutes, and that some folks, males mostly, even chose to give themselves electric shocks rather than complete this relatively simple-sounding task. The researchers first asked a group of college students to sit quietly in an unadorned room without their books, cell phones, or any other distractions. They asked the students to stay in their seats, stay awake, and entertain themselves with their own thoughts. After 6 to 15 minutes, many participants reported that they did not enjoy the experience very much. Most reported that it was difficult for them to concentrate, and even more reported that their mind kept wandering. Maybe it was the boring room, wondered the researchers. So just in case, they asked another cohort of college students to try the same thing in the comfort of their own homes. The results were similar, though. 32% of the students admitted to cheating by checking their phones, listening to music, or otherwise getting out of their chair. In fact, students reported that it was harder to concentrate and that the overall experience was less enjoyable at home. Just to be sure, the researchers performed another experiment, giving participants a choice of sitting quietly alone or engaging in an external activity like listening to music or reading a book. Which one do you think they enjoyed more? Overwhelmingly, the students reported that it was easier to concentrate on and simply more fun to engage in external activities. But were all of these results specific to college students? To find out, the researchers recruited community participants from a farmer's market and a local church. These study participants ranged from 18 to 77 years in age. They attempted the same task at home, but also reported the same feedback. In the end, Wilson and his colleagues found that regardless of age, education, income, or even the frequency with which people use smartphones and social media, most people don't really like being alone with their thoughts. But would they take it over a negative experience? In one of the researchers' last experiments, participants were given a choice. Sit quietly with your thoughts or administer electric shocks to yourself. And, shockingly, 67% of men and 25% of women chose to shock themselves at least once during their alone time. They had originally told the researchers that, if they were given $5, they would pay not to be shocked. But that notion apparently went out the window once the study participants were alone, facing their thoughts. The researchers are still working on why this seems to be the case for us humans, but they think it's why some people seek to gain better control over their thoughts with meditation and other techniques. Without such training, they say, people prefer doing to thinking, even if what they are doing is so unpleasant that they would normally pay to avoid it.